Hey there lovelies and welcome to today's video. So today's video is one I had uh, saved in my folder. It's not a day per se, it's, a, it's the first spread in my album. Um, and this is the spread about our Christmas tree, when we put up our tree. Now normally the tree uh, goes up on the first here, but for the past two years it's been up the last weekend in November. And that's because my sister's come over to help put it up. Believe it or not, I don't actually put up my tree at all. I take the photos and the kids help decorate, but my sister's put it up. Um, it's sort of like our family tree and really yeah, because everyone comes over for Christmas Day and it was our mum's tree. But um, yeah, so they come and put it up and decorate. So it's put up um, on the first week of no first last weekend of November the past few weeks because that's when we could all get together and my middle sister wasn't working. So that's why it doesn't actually have a day in December, but for the past two years it's been the first spread in the album. And it's actually a double spread. Um, I've got a pocket page on one side and a 6x8 uh, layout on the other, but I'm just doing the pocket page for today and I'll save the 6x8 for tomorrow. So all I'm doing is I have a 3x4 of my sisters with the tree and a 4x6 of my son putting the star on top of the tree. It was his year this year and he was very excited to do it. And then I'm going to make a journaling card um, in the middle because it doesn't need a, a day because it you know I think it was like the 28th or something of November and yes I'm just going to put up our tree and write the story that I pretty much just told you then so on this spread I've used only my December uh, daily kitaholic kits kit <laughs> that's a mouthful um it's the December daily kit from kitaholic kits the the kit club the Australian kit club that I am on the DT for and so I was doing this as sort of like a DT piece, but it didn't end up being used. We didn't really focus a lot on the December daily kit. So I have these two um, uh, layouts to share, but I did use nothing but all the supplies from my kit, which makes it, you know, pretty cool. And it's a, it's a good way to see exactly what's in, um, what's in the kits and how I use it. I'm sorry that you see my curly hair. I totally just realized that then. Um, on the weekends when I get most of my scrapbooking done, obviously if I'm not going anywhere, um, I don't tame my hair for lack of a better word. I have very, very short, very, very curly hair. Uh, I recently cut it all off and so yeah, now I have to control it and obviously I wash it and when I wash it, it goes really fluffy. And this happens to be one of those days and I'm sorry that you have to see that. But I've tried to cut out as most, as I, most of my head popping in the way as I can. <laughs> I don't know why my head's there, it never usually is. Only when I have really bad hair. But anyway, back to the layout. So if you watched any of my videos before, you know my favourite way to add journaling to the majority of my cards and photos is to cut little strips and then write on them. And that's what I've done in this one as well. I'm under the the title I've used. I've used these Kaiser Craft stickers. And nice and creative, I've just put our tree, doodled the border around it, and now I'm going to write my journaling. Which I cut all out, yay, because not only could you see my really bad hair, but it takes a long time to write it all, cut it, glue it all down, and you don't want to sit here waiting for that. Even I don't like watching it, it's very boring. So, ta-da, it's all done for you. And now I'm just going to embellish with some sequins, which if you've been watching, you'll know that I'm really, really using a lot of on my uh, December daily this year. And... Yeah, oh, and the bling, can't forget the bling. Sequins and bling, they're my absolute go-to to embellish lately. And um, even on normal layouts that I'm doing, I'm finding I'm using a lot of them, which is really good. It's nice to, you know, try new things. Instead of enamel dots, I'm going for bling and sequins. I actually love it. And um, the Pink Fresh sticker sheet has a bunch of sticker phrases, and I have found one that says, Oh Christmas Tree, and put it under the picture of my two sisters and my son decorating the tree. And then on this one down the bottom, I'm going to cut some more strips and just write up my journaling about Will's year to put the star on the tree and Daddy giving him a bit of a boost. So once I've cut my strips and added my journaling, I'm just going to um, stick them straight to the photo and then add again more sequins and bling just to, you know, finish the embellishing it and that's going to be it for the layout. Now it doesn't look like much, like there's a, not really a lot going on embellishment wise. But it's actually one of my favourite spreads in the album. I really like the the journaling on the card and the pictures, and yeah, it's it's definitely one of my favourites. And that's a good, you know, a good thing to take note. You don't have to overly embellish your December daily spreads. I have some where I'm really over the top with embellishing, and 
things like that and then i have days like today where it's very minimal but it still is it's very christmasy and very yeah i don't know the word but i i like it and it's definitely one of my favorites and then on the other side on the left hand side will be the six by eight uh layout of the boys under the tree so you'll see that tomorrow but yeah so to, it ties in together it's sort of like a double spread and on the back of the six by eight walls would be the cover page for our December daily album so it all works in it all works out and ties in so I'll definitely show you that and at the end of the month I will um, do a flip through so you can see the album in its entirety and that's it for the layout thanks for watching and come on back tomorrow for the other side of this um, spread which will be a 6x8 layout so I'll see you tomorrow for that thanks for watching bye